What do you see at Children's of Alabama? One of the best children's hospital programs in the nation and the third largest pediatric medical facility? You see Alabama's only level one trauma center and the largest burn center in the Southeast. You see doctors and nurses committed to providing the finest pediatric care to all children. And you see kids getting well and going home. Now look closely. Can you see yourself at Children's? As a volunteer, you can be part of this amazing team. Since the hospital opened its doors in 1911 with the mission to provide the best pediatric medical care anywhere, volunteers have been a cornerstone of the legacy of excellent care. They put their hearts to work every day to serve children, their families, and visitors with respect, love, and compassion. Adults, college students, and teenagers 16 years and up can apply for volunteer placement in a variety of settings and at three possible locations. The main campus and Children's on 3rd Downtown and at Children's South on Interstate 459 at Acton Road. All volunteer assignments are very important and that's why each applicant must successfully complete training that is similar to what our employees receive. Even our clowns go through orientation training in addition to graduating from clown school to be accepted as volunteers. Your orientation training is called Children's University and will consist of most of the things you need to know to be a successful volunteer. First and foremost, you need to have a caring servant's heart and a big smile. You'll want to bring both of those with you each time. I can honestly say I've never done anything more rewarding. Holding a baby when it's crying and then seeing it being comforted. Um, we stock cabinets, we take care of the front desk and let people in and check their IDs and we just basically clean up and make sure nothing is in the way of nurses to help the children. It's one of the greatest experiences you'll ever have in your life and if you're going to pick something, pick this. Volunteers in general mean to children that there can be an element of fun in a setting that generally isn't very fun. Helping children and their families and the hospital as a whole has meant a great deal to me personally. Topics that you'll learn about in orientation training include infection control, proper hand washing, fire and safety procedures, privacy policies such as HIPAA, rules regarding social media, proper attire and behaviors, the hospital's code of conduct, and much more. You'll be tested in these areas and will be required to score 80 or better. Applicants for volunteer services must also have a pre-screening, a TB skin test, and a flu shot. The TB test and flu shot are repeated annually and are free of charge for you. However, you are required to purchase your uniform here. All volunteers wear the same color uniform with the Children's of Alabama logo. There are other perks too, such as a 15% discount in the auxiliary gift shop on Main, free parking, meal tickets, and more. But nothing is as satisfying as the personal reward you get from serving others. The gentle smile from a child the appreciation from a parent. Giving is indeed better than receiving. The opportunities for volunteers are as numerous and diverse as the precious children we serve. Whether you're a Children's of Alabama clown, a greeter, a nursing ambassador, or a patient pal, to name a few assignments, you have the privilege of working directly with medical professionals, and more importantly, with children and families who need you and depend on you. From the front door to the transplant floor, every single volunteer placement is important. Nurses, doctors, hospital employees, and most of all, the children count on you. That's why we expect the same dedication to your volunteer assignment that you would have for a class or a job. Volunteer commitments are one day a week for three to four hours for a total of 48 hours per assignment but you might find you want to stay for a lifetime. And I get thanked every day, so many times. So it's just a remarkable place to be. I've carried on a number of conversations with two-year-olds. It's remarkable the conversation you can have with them. I don't always understand what they say, but it's interesting talking with them. I consider it a, a, a privilege to be here. So, can you see yourself at Children's? If you can then please follow the instructions after this video. 
Be sure to browse the rest of the Volunteer Services website and read more about the placements and possibilities. And we hope to see you at Children's of Alabama.